Hello there, my Aquarius friends. This is Absinthe, and I'm here with your freaking weekend tarot reading. We're going to be using a couple of decks today. Those decks will be in the description box to save time. Thank you very much. Here we go. Okay, so here we got the Queen of Cups reversed. And basically, um, this is like an overly emotional, um, jealous, um, like attention whore type of person um, that is probably playing you behind your back. Okay, I'm gonna put it straight to you right now. Um, you may find that this person's also really needy, and you find yourself avoiding this person um, because um, they're just really overbearing. Um, you could also be under emotional and financial pressure right now with this card okay i'm gonna pull another card with the other deck to clarify this a little more okay okay so here we ended up with four cards okay um eight of pentacles okay um Two of Wands, um, Verse, so we're doing two at a time, okay, here, alright, so basically, um, the Eight of Pentacles is, um, like, maybe you're working very hard, you know, right now, um, doing your work, doing your job, whatever it is, you're definitely carrying someone else right here, you're carrying their burdens, um, you may feel like you're even overworked, but you know, um, you're doing what you have to do, you know, um, an opportunity will present itself to you with this card right now, um, and it will be helpful if you accepted this opportunity for advancement, could be training, could be work, you know, whatever it is, it's good if you accept that offer right now. That's going to help you a lot. Um, yeah, we will provide you what you need in order to move forward in the future. It's going to be very beneficial for you. What you need in order to move um, ahead in life. Um, invest in some like training or something like that and it will help you in the long run. Okay, with this two of wands reverse, um, there's a lot of strife and fighting among you and your partner um, with financial matters there is some kind of financial inequality here um, with this card um, yeah um, one, one of you is having more influence than the other meaning one of you is working one of you is not working and uh, you feel taken advantage of you feel taken for granted because you probably do more work than that person um, that you may be with. Um, and we got um, the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Hermit here. Um, okay. And then the Wheel of Fortune is like a swift and sudden change is going to happen um, here. And, uh, it may be, you know, a change of scenery, I'm thinking, and, um, yeah, it's a twist of fate. Something really big is going to happen, um, in your favor, it seems like, um, it's going to be for the better. Um, this one's spontaneous success and joy comes without effort. Um, you might not be dealing with this person anymore in the future. I'm feeling like, um, take advantage of new opportunities again. Just take advantage of anything new coming to your life, um, that is presented to you. It is a really favorable time for you to also go do things, um, better times with finances with this card, um, with health and with career, um. Yeah, take new avenues of growth, remain open. Um, yeah, with this Hermit card, 
um, is saying spend time alone, introspect, Rev <sighs> gain insight, and review like everything that happened to you. You know, take time to rest, to recuperate. Um, maybe you have had an operation recently or some kind of um, loss of vitality um, health wise. You know, just overall, just depletion because you overworked. You know, and also, um, yeah, this is telling you to avoid that person also. You know, and avoid like any like family at this time. You know, just like take time for you. You know, that's what this is saying here um, with this. Mm. That's basically what I got for this. Let's, um, uh, pull another card, okay? Um, to clarify or <laughs> to close out, I guess. Okay, so here we got 11th house friends, friendships. Um, could be that in the near future, right? Um, you're gonna need to rely on some friends or some actually, um, not close friends, like a network, you know in like your outer circle maybe wherever your opportunity that you accept right i feel like maybe it's like a school or something or some kind of organization um you're gonna meet a new love in that place um and you should move forward with that with that relationship um that is going on there that that person or those group of people new people that you're hanging out with are gonna help you further your life and help you and even upgrade, you know, whatever it is you were previously doing, it's a really favorable time uh, for you. Um, yeah, just let them give you advice. Um, rely on your friends to help you grow. Um, that's, that's basically what I got for that. Um, I pulled up the same cards. Well, I pulled up the same card for the 11th house. In the Vedic deck, um, it's basically pleasure, you know, um, just having a good old time. Um, they call it the recreation room, and um, it's karma, it says here, not karma, karma. And there's um, accomplishments, supporters, people who support you, you know, you go and move on to new things, passions, things you really want to do prosperity you know so the 11th house is the house of gains okay in vedic astrology that's a very good money house you can gain a lot of allies fulfillment recognition and perfection so you know move on from this grabby person <laughs> to like uh better things once you move away from that person you know um it's a really really favorable time for you um, just stay open and accept the new opportunities that are knocking at your door. Um, and I see this as Rajas here, so I pulled up the card for that as well. So Rajas is, um, the creator force. Mm, basically, it's a growth aspect. You know, it's, it's passion, it's a wand energy. You know, so, um, you have growth, anabolic, agitated, this is selfish, which means, like, Think for yourself and, you know, stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Passionate, active, restless. So, it, it's a moving force. Forceful, lustful, controlling. It is generation. So, it's basically like you use the good part of that. And you just have ambition. Just have some ambition. Because it's going to do really well for you at this time. You know, um, yeah. That's a good reading. Um... For the most part, I think, you know, just keep doing you and um, keep uh, your eyes peeled, <laughs> you know, like, be on the lookout for those opportunities, don't let them slip by, alright, and you should do well, okay, um, yeah, that was it for this reading, um, if you like this reading and it helped you, press the like button, press the subscribe button, so you can get more, um, advice, you know, and stuff like that, um, yeah okay um have a wonderful
day or night, wherever you are. Okay, thank you. Bye.